Breaking medical news this morning, a new AIDS vaccine has been developed. This is the first one that seems to actually prevent the spread of HIV. CBS News correspondent Elizabeth Palmer has the latest from London. Good morning, Liz. Good morning, Harry. Yes, these surprising and bound to be controversial results come from a very large field trial conducted, conducted in Thailand and sponsored by various organizations, including the U.S. Army. The results showed that an experimental vaccine reduced the HIV infection rate by 30 percent in a cross-section of 16,000 volunteers. The Thai young people were given a combination of two older vaccines, neither of which had proven effective alone, but for some reason, given together, they appeared to offer some protection after the three-year-long trial. The largest ever attempted that ended with a credible conclusion and that brought us one step closer to an HIV vaccine. In spite of billions of dollars spent on education and research, the UN estimates that HIV still infects more than 7,000 people a day worldwide. The Thai experimental vaccine isn't the magic bullet everyone's hoping for, but researchers say it is a big step in the right direction. So these results are encouraging, but they aren't decisive. And I should underline that there's no way that this product, although it's interesting and it's going to attract a lot of money and research, is not going to be licensed for general medical use. Harry? Elizabeth Palmer in London this morning. Thank you. Let us talk about this for a moment with our medical correspondent, Dr. Jennifer Ashton. Good morning. Good morning, Harry. You hear a headline like this and you think, oh, my gosh, there is an AIDS pandemic. Millions and millions of people affected right. throughout the planet. Is this applicable? What's the most important thing you think we should know about this? Well, one is that even after about 30 years, practically, of research, researchers are still learning things that could potentially be incredibly important in the fight against HIV AIDS. Mm -hmm. Now, we have to remember that this is now being held historic for the first time mm -hmm. a vaccine is being shown to be effective. There are always qualifying remarks. Mm -hmm. In this case, as we heard, this vaccine is only effective about 31 percent of the time in reducing the risk of someone being infected with HIV, mm -hmm. but normally for a vaccine to be licensed, it has to be shown to be effective at least 50 to 70 or 80 percent of the time. This is a big breakthrough, but it does need to be considered with cautious optimism. So, because this is interesting, this is, as I read through this this morning, it was almost an accident. That's it was right. two different uh, vaccines or th uh, formulas that they thought to be helpful for uh, right. vaccines. They combined them and they, th they had no idea. That Synergistically, yes. they work better together than they do by themselves. You're absolutely correct, Harry. And again, this is now important because in the future, they're really going to be looking at whether or not other vaccines can work synergistically as well. But for HIV AIDS, this is very important. They're going to be presenting more data about this in a vaccine in Paris in October. All right. Very good. Dr. Ashton, as always, thanks. Yeah.